Hi everyone, and welcome to my review of Master Wong's book, Chapter 2, and Master Wong's book is called The Event, Book 1, Little Dragon, by Master Wong. So, in this book, um, chapter, um, chapter 2 takes place right after Chapter 1, and in Chapter 1, then, uh, what happened is... Um, Master Wang's dad and mom um, went to uh, went went on a boat and then uh, with with like four other boats I think if I remember right and then like three of them got destroyed and so so the setting of the book is Master Wang's mom um, goes out to look for her husband and brother which is Master Wang's father and brother uh, wait, wait her husband and son which is Master Wang's father and brother. So uh, Master Wong's mom is, to is totally stressed out um, going, um, going, to, uh, go, um, going to the beach and Master Wong's mom says, um, keeps lecturing Master Wong don't fight, uh, which is really interesting because as far as I can tell Master Wong isn't actually fighting. Master Wong is just, um, ju um, just doing like um, self-defense and um, or, or, or trying to do self-defense. He's just a little kid. And so, so he just gets beaten up, and, and his mom keeps telling him, "Hey, don't, uh, um, don't fight." But I'm not really sure how he can not get beaten up. Um, it's really kind of interesting. So, and, so anyway, um, Master Wang's mom is. Oh, I already told you that she's stressed, and I was going to compare Master Wang's mom being stressed to my mom being stressed, but I, it's not really very comparable because Master Wang's dad and brother might be dead. Um, and hopefully we find that out later in the book, but I don't know if they're dead or not. Um, I don't think all of the boats were destroyed, but, um, but especially from Master Wong's mom's per perspective, it's not looking very good. Um, oh, and, and, and this, um, this book takes place between, um, sometime between 1976 and 1978. The chapter two is only about one or two days, I think. Oh, and before I get too far into the book, let me read um, this um, introduction part that says, No part of this book may be used or reproduced in any manner whatsoever without written permission, except in the case of brief quotations, embedded, em, brief quotations embodied in critical articles or reviews. And so that's why uh, this is a review, because this is the only way that I can actually quote Master Wong's book. So, oh, and um, and and this is a this is a really depressing chapter. It just gets worse and worse and worse. Um, so um, bear with me, and, and and I will too. Hopefully, it gets better, uh, but but definitely not by the end of this chapter. So, in this um, in this in this chapter, it mentions again that Master Wong is it calls him a half breed, and then I'm blanking this out because I don't say that word. Um, so, um, so, so they're calling Master Wong a half breed, whatever, and um, and 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 I'm kind of a half breed too because my mom is from England and my dad is from um, the U.S. But uh, when I was young, then I had speech problems, and so I never really talked very much, um, and so I don't ever remember people calling me a half breed. Um, or, or, or any kind of stuff like that. But I think that if I had actually like talked very much, then people would people would have. And um, but um, but but anyway, um, people kind of uh, um, people kind of picked picked on me anyway. So um, so so let me read the um, so so anyway, it gets um, Master Wong's being beaten up, and then here's here's the uh, brief quotation. Um, in, uh, in this, Master Wang, um, to, to set up this quotation, then uh, Master Wang uh, was tired of being beaten up, so he, he put a knife in his um, pocket or whatever, and then these bullies came, and he pulled out his knife, and this is how, um, this is where it begins. Despite the blade being dull and chipped, it sliced through the layers of the boy's skin quite easily. Uh, oh, and um, yeah, so so, so, um, so this boy that Master Wong is knifing is grabbing onto him. The older boy let go of Hung's clothes. Oh, and, and did I say that Hung is Master Wong? But uh, Master Wong is called Hung in this uh, book, H-U-N-G. Um, the older boy let go of Hung's clothes and clasped his side with both, with both hands. With, clasped his side with both hands. 
Falling to one knee, he tried to keep the blood from continuously gushing out. Hung didn't stop to look. He turned around quickly and pushed through the other boys lining the sides of the alley. So Master Wong's just knifed this guy, uh, and he might he might be dead. Um, it doesn't actually say whether he died or not, I don't think. So um, anyway, he, um, he was just doing this out of self-defense. And um, my experience um, uh, ended up a little bit bit differently. Uh, when I was in junior high, then uh, this guy uh, this guy was kind of bullying me, and what uh, what he did was he would walk up to me and he would push me in the uh, in the forehead, and I got like super discombob discombobulated, and um, he and his friends thought it was funny, so they just kept pushing me, and I would um, I would I guess act weird or funny. Um, by pushing me in the forehead, and so I um, I didn't like it, and I wanted to uh, um, I wanted to like fight uh, no, well well not like fight back, but I wanted to stop him from pushing me in the forehead. So one time I um, tried to push him back in the forehead, and I missed because I w I've never been very coordinated, and I hit him like in the nose, um, probably not with very much force, and. Um, I think you mentioned later that it it didn't even hurt, but a couple seconds later, he's um, his nose started bleeding, and he had to like go to the bathroom because it was bleeding a, a lot. So I must have just pushed his nose in the wrong um, direction. And interestingly, after that, then uh, oh, and then and then all the kids said, "Oh, um, Dewey beat up," um, and and um, said said this guy's name, but I'm not going to say it because I'm sure he's watching my um, YouTube channel now. But but anyway, the, all, all the kids said, do we beat, beat this guy up, uh, which wasn't true. Um, and then he left me alone after that, and he never pushed me in the forehead again. And so reading Master Wong's book, I'm realizing that's a really, really atypical um, thing to happen with um, bullies. And... And that's um, definitely not what happened in Master Wong's book because after, um, and and uh, like I said, I'm not actually sure if this boy is dead or not, but his friends um, then came and retaliated like really, really bad. And I'm not gonna give it away, but it just got like worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Oh, and then um, and then later, like, like almost at the end of the chapter, um, Master Wong's mom figures out what's going on and, um, Master Wong's mom, uh, remember, had told him not to get in fights or not to um, not to fight not to fight people, which uh, which then his mom just kind of blew up and tied him to a tree, and then his mom beat him up also. So so anyway, I don't know how you get much more depressing than that, but that's where the cliffhanger comes in, um, the, uh, like the light of hope at the end is a cliffhanger, which is kind of like. Um, I had an English teacher describe that tragedies can be inspiring, um, like like tragedies where like everyone dies in the end can be inspiring because, and he had this um, like logic about why the super depressing thing can be, could actually uplift you, and uh, and that's kind of how I feel about the cliffhanger because um, even though the cliffhanger is letting me know that the next chapter is going to get worse then at least it's something to look forward to. So anyway, here's the cliffhanger. All Hung, and remember Hung is Master Wong, all Hung could do was lie on his bed and worry about the boys coming back to finish the job. So anyway, um, that's the end of Master Wong's book, chapter two review. And hopefully things will get better in the next chapter, but... Um, Probably, I'm guessing they'll just get worse and worse and worse until about chapter nine, and then there'll be a glimmer of hope, and then they'll get worse and worse and worse, and then hopefully the event happens before chapter 15, which is uh, the end of Master Wong's book. So thanks very much for watching, and um, I will make chapter three review as soon as I don't feel... Um, or, or as, as soon as I can get over the depression and sadness of reading chapter two. Thanks.